So wherever I've been for the last 18 days, since I last made my video of losing 50 pounds in 50 days at the age of 50. Well, it's been an interesting couple of weeks actually. Well, two weeks really, since I've done the last video. And uh, I've had a number of changes, which is pretty cool. And at the same time, I've been working and I've been up and down the country. So it hasn't been that easy to create videos while I'm on the go. That will be changing soon because I've got a num uh, purchased a number of gear, types of gear that I can actually do this wherever I am. And uh, let me give you a quick little rundown of what's happened so far and tell you the advantages or the things that I've gained, the, the, the changes that have happened that makes all of this worthwhile. Now, <clears throat> in the beginning of my journey on the 19th of February, which is 68 days ago, I was 140 kilograms, which is 309 pounds in, if you, you're not measuring using the metric system. And I am now 113 kilograms, which is now 249 pounds. So total that I've lost is 27 kilograms, which is a grand total of 60 pounds. And I'm quite happy about that. That's 68 days later. Yes, I mean, it would have been nice to lose 60 pounds in 60 days. I would have made another video like that, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not worried about that. It's the other benefits that were pretty impressive. So let me give you a bit of a rundown of what's happened. In the first week, I was doing pretty well. Everything was great and I was losing quite uh, quickly in terms of weight and I was improving in everything in energy in, uh you know, uh, the, the, the ability to do things, the clarity of the work and so on. But I was traveling. So that was a little bit tricky because I had to try and find the right places in terms of eating the right food. And, you know, when you travel to different parts of the country, it's relatively easy. But when you travel across the countries, that's a little trickier, especially when you fly. So that was a bit of a challenge, but I managed to figure out how to do things. In fact, one of the times I went, <laughs> which I've never done, I've never purchased McDonald's. This is the first time I've ever eaten McDonald's. I know it sounds crazy. At the age of 50, have you never eaten McDonald's? Yeah, I never did. I never was the kind of person that liked McDonald's. When I was in my fat stages, I used to love my Kentucky Fried Chicken. I used to love Nando's. I used to love, well, we had Chick-fil-A, all that kind of stuff. But I never really went for McDonald's. I occasionally had a Burger King a while back, but it's not really McDonald's that interests me. Well, for the first time, I actually did. And then I went when I was traveling and I was at a customer location, I actually had no choice. So I, <laughs> I drove through McDonald's and basically said to them, can you just put me in a package 20 hamburger patties? I don't want anything else. I just want the hamburger patties. And yeah, surprisingly, McDonald's did that. And that was pretty nice of them. So I managed to deal with it that way. It's not the best solution in the world, but at least it's red meat. Now, what I did on the second week in the last sort of 18 days since I made the last videos, well, 14 days, the last two weeks, the last week I did something quite remarkable and I spoke to Kerry from Homestead. And if you haven't watched his channel, you haven't subscribed to his channel, please do so. He's got an incredible story and he talks to so many people around the world. And he's also putting together a documentary for Netflix called Healing Humanity. So please go ahead and subscribe, which I've done anyway. And I hope he comes to the UK and we can do a bit more work together. That'll be wonderful. But more importantly, I tried what he did and what uh, Jeff DeProsperous did. One of his friends that's going through some serious cancer treatment and is winning. I did a seven day fast and Kerry knows about this and I was quite surprised with myself. I went through the first day thinking, let me see if I can do a day's fast. Now, bear in mind, I was doing a 23 hour fast either way because I was only eating once a day. So I thought, okay, let me try a second day and the second day went fine. Uh, the third day was okay. I got busy with work and I wasn't really interested in eating. And the fourth day I uh, went through it and I was quite surprised, but I was feeling a little bit lethargic. So I had some water with some electrolytes and that just boosted me up again. So I didn't have to worry anymore. So I realized yeah, I wasn't getting my, my electrolytes. And then I progressed to day five, which became the Friday because I originally began on the Sunday 
and then I ended it on the Sunday, Sunday 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So my last meal was a Sunday 5 o'clock and the next meal was the Sunday at 5 o'clock. And I managed to get through. And actually, when I when I sent an email back to email uh, to Kerry from Homestead, I said, you know what? I made the seven days fast. It was doable. I was feeling a little bit hungry. Absolutely. At the end of the sixth day, uh, the sixth day by the seventh morning, I was all right. And uh, Kerry says, yeah, I wonder if we could probably do a 10 day fast. Now, I haven't I, I, I could have pushed it, but I didn't want to take the risk because I was on my own here. But that's what's been going on now you would assume that you know you would lose a lot more weight that way and i did I, I lost an additional sort of 10 pounds so that was good okay and i um pretty happy about that i mean i could have lost a lot more but what i was doing in that process i was drinking a lot of water so i bumped my water intake during that week to, from almost three liters a day to close to four and a half maybe even five liters depends on what i was doing okay which is insane, of course. Now, <clears throat> but those weren't the major benefits. Now, what happened during that time was that I, uh, yes, I lost the additional uh, pounds and weight, but, and now I'm 60 pounds altogether down, so 27 kilograms down, which is wonderful. I'm 113 kilos. But the benefits were this my skin started clearing up a lot better my clarity became better, my eyesight even better, so I started seeing even better at night, which is really surprising, because at some point in time, before I started all this, my eyesight was degrading, I could feel the changes. But the other benefits were that I, uh, I began to, uh, what's the, how to explain this in a little bit of an easier way, I began to, in a way, focus not just on one particular task, but focus on tasks and then focus at the endings and what needed to be done, but also know exactly what I needed to do. A lot of the times when I'm working on something, I might not know the outcome, but this time my brain started thinking, you know what, this is what you're going to achieve. Let's do it this way. And um, I was just completing things a lot faster, a heck of a lot faster. In fact, I've done so many things in the last two weeks that, you know, normally would have taken me months to complete, which was really interesting. At the same time, I was able to read books because I love reading books and I read approximately, you know, 30 physical books a year and I probably go through about 70 odd audio books a year. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm a hoarder when it comes to reading. But now I went through in the last two weeks, I went through 10 audio books altogether and that's insane. But I was going through it at double speed. So now I was playing the audio books at double speed, which I've never done before. So because my brain was able to um, process all that information a lot faster, which is unusual. That was quite strange. The other thing that happened was I started going, I started doing a little bit of exercise, which explains why I didn't, I didn't lose so much weight like I expected to, because even the, you know, the, the normal procedure was to get close to after the 50 days in terms of 60 days, like almost eight days ago, I should have reached 60 pounds. But here's the interesting part. I started going to exercise. I started weight training and I gain muscle while losing the fat. So in fact, that's why I didn't lose so much fat. Well, sorry, so much weight. I lost the fat, but what I did is I gained it back in muscle. So I started building muscle and I started noticing that on my, the, in the shape of my, clo my clothes. I'm now wearing, I'm almost close to a large uh, borderline medium t-shirt, which you know, this is very close to what I was when I when I used to dance when I was a young kid. And um, I started this journey at a close to 2XL or even 3XL, depending on the t-shirts. So that's pretty crazy. My trousers now are falling off. So I now have to get a new wardrobe. So a lot of my formal clothing that I use for customers are starting to fall off. I had to use for the first time in a long time, I had to use a belt to keep my trousers up. That's unusual. And um, I also noticed that my shoes were not fitting as well as they should have. So I started wearing thicker socks because apparently I've lost weight in the feet, which is interesting. Must be the circumference loss, I guess. So there's a number of changes. And I think the biggest change of all is uh, my, just the ability for me to not just sleep less, which I have done, but to get up and to just want to do things, to get out there and do things. And, 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 and even in the cold, like, I mean, today it was, I mean, it's like 10 degrees outside. It's pretty decent. 
and it's raining and it's windy and I just went outside with a simple little jacket which I normally wouldn't would just wear that I would wear a couple of layers underneath and then wear a jacket but no I was out there quite happily I wasn't even wearing a beanie and it was quite unusual that I would walk around and I not feel the cold as much that's unusual because usually I'm pretty normal I feel the cold like anybody else but that was unusual to not feel the cold in the wind which is very different and the other thing that I did as well in the last week is it's been relatively cold in Wales it's been windy cold raining and all that and it's been a bit tricky with the heating I haven't turned on the heating in the entire week of this uh, of this week so and that's unusual because it's pretty cold in here it's literally around 14 15 degrees which is cold actually which is unusually cold for Wales but surprisingly I haven't needed to turn on the heater because I don't feel the cold I only feel the cold really late at night when I'm really tired and I need to go to bed that's different but not during the day which is quite an unusual thing so that was a surprise as well otherwise many other benefits you know lots of different things uh like I've said before I, I don't even use sort of antiperspirant anymore it's not even necessary I I started becoming more regular when it comes to uh you know bowel movements that's pretty good as well because I upped my in the last two days I've upped my my fat intake but okay so when coming off the fast I had to do a number of things I know that you don't just come off a fast and you know boom straight away go into a massive steak you know you don't you don't, you don't want to do that because you got you you're going to feel a bit weird after that so I went straight in and I created a broth on the first day coming back and that was the the lunch that I ate which is just a broth uh from bones and old meat and that and um, that got me through most of the day and in the evening I had a very small little steak in the last three or four days I did a little bit of an experiment I thought to myself should I go into the carnivore diet now in other words jump out because now I've reached my 60 pounds should I jump into the carnivore diet and leave the lion diet and then just introduce um, things like eggs milk cheese butter you know that kind of thing and I wanted to test it out just for one day just for one day so I had a very small piece of cheese you know a very tiny little small piece of cheese I wasn't feeling too good after that and the following day weirdly enough I gained an entire kilogram just out of that piece of cheese and I realized straight away no cheese isn't for me so I can't really do dairy and that's where my biggest problem is because I used to love my cheese when I was younger so and even before I started this journey so that was no go and um, I also added two eggs just to see what would happen with that process of the two eggs now I didn't feel bad eating the two eggs but I didn't feel great either I just felt pretty normal so that wasn't really ideal because every day I've been improving and feeling better and better so I thought nah take away the eggs as well so i'm back on the line diet again so that was just a one day experiment just to see how things go but uh no absolutely not it's it's not for me it's just not designed for me at least not now i think once i reach my 100 pound loss i'll probably drop down to that so i can maintain that weight but at the end of the day i, I don't foresee me losing uh, well leaving the lion diet I think I'm going to stay on the lion diet till I get to another well an additional 40 pounds I mean my target weight will be you know 100 lost pounds that would be nice to have so I think I'm going to stay at the lion diet I don't think I want to change I feel so much better on the lion diet and the final sort of beautiful sort of feeling that I get from all of this that the, the at least the benefit that I see from this is that I'm able to now adjust across multiple meats not just stick to steaks so I'm able to go across the briskets and the lamb cutlets and I'm able to go across the the ribs and um because now I've added the different cuts of meats into the process so yeah and I'm handling pretty well and across all of them so that's pretty good because I've got like an entire variety of different meats to try out and um particularly love my minced meat so and especially making hamburger patties so that's pretty cool and the funny thing is I've started to enjoy the meat when I when I've cooked extra 
and I've left it over in the fridge over the night and then the next morning it's cold. I've actually enjoyed the cold meat as a breakfast and not heating it up. I love the idea of having cold minced burgers in the morning. I just, it's just one of those things that just, oh, it's beautiful. It just tastes amazing the next day. I don't know what it is. Maybe it just tries it out more or maybe somehow tastes better in the morning. I don't know. It's just a very strange thing. So I'm enjoying cold meats in the morning. So I'm now cooking extra for the following day. And then what I'm having is a very small little breakfast because I've now left the one meal a day and I've just made a small little breakfast of like one hamburger patty in the morning. And then in the afternoon around four o'clock five, I drop massive steaks, you know, really thick steaks. Um, so that's fine for me. That's doing it for me. And yeah, this is my result. This is where I am. On top of that, I have been a little bit busy, everybody not been posting on YouTube. Sorry for that, because I've been creating and working on the website, goodcarnival.com. It's a lot of work because I am doing it in between other work that I'm doing. So it's not something I can dedicate, you know, a whole day on. So in one go, but if I had an entire full day of work, I'd, I'd push it right through. But there's a lot of work. I want to start building a lot more information, content, resources, all that kind of stuff. And it's it's there. The, the website is li it's not live, but it's operating and I'm just I'm making changes to content and so on. My aim is to try and release it halfway through May. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work that way. It's all about getting everything right because I don't want to launch something on a website and it doesn't work or it's incorrect. So it's, there's a lot of research involved. I want to make sure it's all working correctly and uh, there's a lot of benefits for people. And then once it's there, then I'll launch it actively and then I'll create a new video around this. So that'll be another resource. It'll be everything I've been through, including the burn and so on. And then hopefully, uh, you know, all, all the all the benefits and videos I'm, I've gone through and people I've spoken to and I want to have frequently asked questions. I want to have a scheduling of meetings with people to do Zoom calls together, just you know, if they want some help and some some sort of assistance and process or mentoring. I'd love to do that. So um, there's a lot of things involved in that. Plus, I had to work on the branding and all that kind of stuff takes time, but it's coming for sure. And um, one final piece to the puzzle, I went back to the uh, clinic, which is the reason why I started this whole process in the first place. I didn't really start this to lose weight and necessarily just get healthy only. My main objective, if you've seen my previous videos, and they'll be linked in the description as well, the, the main purpose was to heal my burn in my hand. And that was the key to all of this. And I uh, went back to the clinic and I spoke to the nurses again. They just saw everything that's been happening and they're very pleased with the results. And so far, the burn is in, almost entirely gone. It's, it's really quite close. There's very small little patches here and there. And that's huge in comparison to when it first started. On my website, you're going to see all the original photographs of what it looked like. So I'm warning people it's not for the faint hearted. It was pretty bad. And then comparing it to now, you know, and it's going to be, there's going to be over 140, 150 photographs as the progress went on. So that's beautiful. It's, it, that's the reason why I did all this. And I'm so pleased because the prognosis originally for my burn was close to six months, according to some doctors that I met. And this is now just over two months and it's almost fully healed. So I can only attribute that to the lion diet because three days after the burn, I started the lion diet just on purpose. I could give myself the best possible chance to recovering. I just didn't expect to recover within just about two months. I was hoping three, four, five months, you know, not six months. And yet it's been, it's happened in two months. So I'm very pleased about that. Very, very happy about that. And the, the nurses at the clinic said to me, just keep on doing what you're doing because it's working. So I said, okay, I'm going to continue doing it. That's great, you know. Otherwise, all the other benefits that I've achieved, you know, the weight loss, the clarity gain, and pretty much everything that I've gained, the, the lack of pain, I don't have pain anywhere in, the, in, in my body, uh, the ability to get up in the morning a lot quicker, the ability to sleep a lot less, uh, the the strain, that I, the stress basically that's gone, um, the, the, the benefit of all the fungus and everything disappearing in different parts of my body that I had, the 
armpit problems that I had with the boils gone. You know, there's so many gains, the skin tightening, uh, skin around my body tightening. That was, that was really lovely to see. So all these benefits have just been additional bonuses. Love it. Absolutely love it. And my main was, main thing was to recover this hand and it's fantastic. And I've got, you know, nerve endings and feelings and all that. So oh, it's just, I'm so pleased about that. So anyway, I wanted to give you a quick little roundup of what's happened. My name is Demetrius here again from Obi Pixel, and today I'm talking to you typically from the good carnivore side of my brand. And uh, thank you for watching. If you like these videos and you want to see more of these kind of videos, because I don't just make this kind of video, I make technology videos, media videos, uh, pop culture kind of stuff's coming soon with comics and films and so on, because I am a person that can do so many things, and why not? Right? I'm not going to split out my channel into multiple channels. I want it all in one channel because that's what I can do. And um, if you want to see more of those videos, please like, subscribe, and then tell people about it and share it with other people because it helps my algorithm on YouTube sort of build my channel. Because I'm trying to monetize this channel so I can do a lot more for you, basically make better videos for you. Otherwise, thank you for your time. Much appreciated. My name is Demetrius and I'm signing out.